Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome to the mothership. Let's see what messages we have. So we have the Princess of Swords reversed, the Five of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Emperor. So there's a couple messages I'm receiving. The first one is um, a strict and dire need, is what I'm hearing, to look at the masks that you're wearing. Um, there is Actually, in this card, I want to show this to you. You can see it. I'm not sure it's very visible, but there's a couple dragonflies, and the dragonfly always will bring the truth. Once you've seen something for what it is, there's no way to unsee it. And um, there's also a reference to the tower card with this Five of Swords card. And when the tower comes, uh, you usually always will receive a direct revelation of some kind of information or event situation, just depending on what stage you're in. And there's also within this card a reference to the Two of Swords. So maybe some of you are making some decisions about things. Um, the Princess of Swords Reverse is a little bit of unsurety, standing in her power most of the time, but going through those periods of time when you might have confusion, um, partially knowing what your mission is, and maybe not even acting on it, is what I'm hearing. And there's also a message about um, regaining control over your own life. Um, that's kind of a general statement, but we have the Two of Wands. And within the Two of Wands, it's another decision about your passion and also your relationships. And if, it, if we're speaking of people, it can be two people who can still go separate ways. So there's a need um, to look at the control aspect and really focusing that control in on you and your life and your decisions and your mission and not so much on other people. And that's a pretty strong message to start out with, but that's um, the heart of the matter. This is kind of like taking a strict look at yourself and maybe what you've been hiding from yourself. So let's uh, take a peek at the feminine aspect. We have the Temperance card coming out, the Ace of Pentacles reversed, Three of Water, uh, Union reversed, Nine of Cups, and Chariot reversed. So there's a lot of energy available and some of it's not being put to use. Um, and I'm feeling like because there's some confusion. Um, there's a strong need also to not go into that worry and fear energy of lack mentality. Um, some people call it as poverty mentality. And most of our culture has been ingrained with this because we've been under a lot of illusionary control for most of our lives. And uh, not only our lives, but generations and generations back into our bloodlines. So to get to the root of those um, generational patterns is a strong suggestion, especially if you're trying to move forward in your union, not only with yourself, but your partner and with your mission. Um, the, ten the temperance also reminds us to 
Stay connected to our emotions and to the earth and to the spirit realm. So we need to also take a look at our fourfold body system and balance all of those aspects of ourselves. I like to call it five because I like to include the heart, but for the most part, you know, you've got to really balance your emotions, your mental state, your physical body, and your spirituality. And I'm hearing the word synergize. Find how to synergize that for yourself. There's so much support and help in this community. And um, there's so many uh, ways to tap into creating that harmony within yourself. Another message I'm seeing is a little bit of fear around moving into union or to being able to have what you desire even not trusting yourself. This is actually where, I'm hearing that this is where the energy is uh, coming from, is not trusting yourself. So if you can't trust within, there's no way you're going to be able to trust the divine or um, the creator. There's no way you're going to be able to trust in what you want to come to you. So it's time to take a look at those deeper aspects And I'm just seeing if there's any other message that wants to come through on that. I'm seeing a lot of light language. Some of you um, might need to just... Um, actually, I'm hearing a few things. Some of you might need to change the way the your actual brain synapses uh, fires, like the, the neural pathways in your brain. This has a lot to do with... Um, I'm just going to tell you the short version. Uh, when you write things down, you can change this very easily. If you want to get into like a complete dissertation of how the brain works, there's so much information on that. But really, if you start writing things down and journaling things out, even if you're releasing things, um, and another way to do this um, is after you write things out, allow yourself to even write with your opposite hand or also um, do free like doodling, drawing, um, painting, anything fluid like that, anything artistic and um, not controlled by linear thinking of like, oh, I want it to look like this, or this is how you draw, or this is how you make a sentence structure. I hope that makes sense, um, but that will help you to repattern some of your brain um, neurological pathways. There was another message, um, and it has also to do with fear. When I say fear, I mean the lower vibrations, the lower vibratory responses that you give um, in any type of situation. So if you're used to responding to a certain pattern or dynamic, it's hard to change that response unless you can kind of uh, step away from it and create like a gap or a space in your reaction. And once you do that, you'll be able to reformulate um, the outcome of what you want. So let's move on to the uh, Divine Masculine aspect. We have Abundance, Desire reversed, Eight of Wands reversed, Six of Pentacles reversed, the Page of Cups and the King of Wands. So the Masculine aspect is um, He's really wanting that full abundance and I'm hearing plotting and strategizing on how to get there. And that's um, actually kind of something he's good at, but it's a it's not working exactly how it's always worked. It's not working as well, maybe, because I'm hearing he's outgrown some of his previous ways of doing things. And once you reach that stage, when you... Um, need to excel and grow, the old methods that you've used aren't going to be effective even if you're um, really good at it. So there's a need to kind of look at 
how to connect with abundance in a different way. And there's really a striving for that harmony and that balance. And the masculine is definitely in his passion. And he's considering also um, like maybe what he has to offer as well, especially in the emotional realms. And he wants to have his desires fulfilled. He's just in the space of maybe not really knowing what to do now. And that could be a direct mirror of some of the feminine sphere-based things and lack mentality is what I'm hearing. So there might be a need to go within and look at those types of issues. Um, there's also... There's a lot the masculine aspect uh, wants to say. A lot of information, a lot of talk, a lot of uh, words. And sometimes it's better to say all those things and sometimes it's better to put things into action. Um, and I think this is a part of his process right now of how to really harness that passion that he feels. Um, things are moving forward though. There's a little bit of stagnation and a lot of mirroring going on with these, um, especially ancestral patterns that have been carried out through maybe generations um, in families and bloodlines. So there's one more message coming through about um, the masculine aspect. He really wants to feel solid and he wants to be the center of his feminine's world. He wants to know, to feel. He wants all of that, all of his senses to be able to be concrete or stable. His knowingness, every aspect of his world, he wants that stability in. And I'm going to get a few more cards and then also a couple guidance cards. So we have wisdom and death reversed. And we have the ace of water reversed. So we know that the Divine Masculine has been in the space of really trying to go within and going through a huge change as well. Um, when we experience the death card, or it's not just a card, but when we experience that energy in our lives, um, every aspect of our lives begin to change. It's not usually, it doesn't usually just affect one area of our life. So it may be that he's still wrapping up some of those energies and um, getting ready for his rebirth. Um, but he's still in the process of those types of energies and going within and seeing his own light. Seeing what he has to offer to the world. And let's get some for the feminine. Faith. We have the seven of fire and the two of earth. So in order for the feminine aspect to find her balance within all things, and not only her balance, but also her passion, she, she's going to continue going through this um, transformation. There's so much transformation energy around her. Um, and she's going to be claiming her independence, her independence um, more and more. 
And it's really going to take trusting in herself and her abilities. And once she begins to do that, she will see a reflection from the universe um, of those abilities. And um, there's also so much support around the feminine, the masculine as well. Um, but the masculine is really having to strip away those old uh, layers. Let's get a couple guidance card. So we have Matt. Um, this is where the karmic reward comes through for actions and non-actions. And everything will be um, according to the to cosmic law. And um, the masculine is getting the golden opportunity um, after going through these intense um, death and rebirth processes. Uh, the doors will begin to open, and he will have those rewards that he's been putting the effort towards. And for the Divine Feminine, the message is to remember that you're a channel for divine healing power. And if you're not feeling like you're standing in your true power, um, just keep working on those aspects of yourself that are really blocking your light from shining. Um, you're a vessel of truth and wisdom and light and beauty. And when you bring this through and shine it out to others, you will have more of a sense of your own infinite worth. <laughs>